Are you looking for the best soldering stations? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best soldering stations on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Weller WLC 140 Watt Soldering Station. If you can manage without a digital readout, this Weller soldering iron kit will cover most, if not all, of your soldering needs, and it's budget friendly to boot. We've used the Weller WLC 100 for about 3 years, mostly for soldering stained glass, and it's always performed well. The WLC 100 comes with an ST3 tip, which is great for large soldering projects but too bulky for the fine detailed work necessary for printed circuit boards, PCBs. The tip is interchangeable, though, so you can purchase a tip with a narrower point for finer work. The cord isn't quite as flexible as Weller's newer models, but it's not bad. The stand is sturdy and holds a cleaning sponge. Without a digital readout, it's a bit of a guessing game when determining the temperature of this electric soldering iron. In our tests, however, leaded solder flowed on setting 2, so it's at least 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and lead-free solder flowed on setting 3, which makes it at least 650 degrees Fahrenheit. Settings 4 and 5 could be used for large joints and connections that require more heat. They would also be suitable for the type of quick heat transfer that's necessary for sensitive electronic connections. If you choose this soldering unit, take your time and familiarize yourself with the different settings on different metals and joint sizes before embarking on any sensitive projects. Number 2. Iwa 853D2A USB SMD Soldering Iron Station. Not all soldering projects go as planned, and that's where a rework station comes in. The YIHUA soldering station is a complete soldering solution for anyone who has ever made a mistake or will. It's best suited for fine detail work on PCBs, but could be used for other small joint projects as well. Unboxing the YIHUA was fun, it came with so many extras. In addition to the soldering iron and 10 interchangeable tips, it included the hot air rework gun, a voltmeter for checking electrical circuits, and a desoldering pump for removing liquid solder. We performed several extra tests with this soldering station to see whether all the bells and whistles were worth the investment, and we think they are. This is a comprehensive soldering machine for someone who needs more than a simple soldering iron. With the YIHUA, leaded solder flowed at 600 degrees Fahrenheit and lead-free at 650 degrees Fahrenheit, so the temperature display appears to be accurate. We wish the rework gun had a more precise nozzle to prevent inadvertently damaging nearby elements while fixing solder mistakes. Still, it liquefied the solder and we were able to remove most of it with the desoldering pump. The cord on this soldering station is wonderfully flexible, and the iron stand is sturdy. The setup even comes with a roll of lead-free solder to get you started. For crafters, the YIHUA may be overkill, but for anyone involved in electronics assembly or repair, it's an all-in-one solution. Number 3. Xtronic 3060 Pro STACC 75W Soldering Iron Station We think Stronic's 3060 Pro STACC contact soldering station has plenty of power and convenient features to make soldering projects quicker, easier, and more enjoyable. At 75 watts, the soldering iron reaches temperatures between 392 and 896 degrees Fahrenheit within 30 seconds. Its digital display makes temperatures easy to read. Two helping hands hold the workpiece in place while the user feeds solder and manipulates the iron. We've found these helping hands to be more than useful in several situations, such as when we need to have both of our hands free for holding the solder and the soldering iron but when we also need to hold together different metal pieces in a specific way for soldering. The device includes a holder for a tip cleaner, sold separately, and a space for a wet sponge. Be sure to keep the tip clean, as this kit doesn't come with extras. Number 4. Iwa 939D Plus Digital Soldering Station for DIYers who prefer lead-free solder, we think YIHUA's 939D Plus soldering station is a solid choice. 
A digital contact soldering station, its iron reaches temperatures between 392 and 896 degrees Fahrenheit, more than hot enough to liquefy lead-free solder. YIHUA also includes a roll of lead-free solder in the kit. Three included replaceable tips allow users to choose the right one for the job and replace the tips after they're past their usable state. The station also comes with a soldering tip cleaner, important for creating the best possible lead-free joints. This is a scaled-down version of the YIHUA soldering slash rework station we tested above. It appears to have the same heating capabilities but lacks the rework hot air gun and voltmeter. If you're not heavily involved with electronics production and don't need extra equipment, you can save money and still get a top-notch YIHUA soldering station with this model. Number 5. Sinli i 8586110V Solder Station. For those new to rework, we think that Sinli i's 8586 soldering station is a good kit for learning the ropes. This station includes a hot air gun, a soldering iron, swappable tips, tweezers, a desoldering pump, brushes, picks, and soldering wire. Basically, it has everything you need to get started soldering and desoldering. A digital display allows users to dial in the exact temperature for the type of work. The 60-watt soldering iron provides enough power for most jobs, reaching the same temperatures as most other kits with a slightly slower recovery time. The hot air gun reaches temperatures between 392 and 840 degrees Fahrenheit. Sinlei's station also boasts a built-in tray for wet sponges, making it easy to clean the iron's tip. Our only concern is that the stand for the soldering iron contains plastic, several users appear to have inadvertently melted it by positioning the hot iron the wrong way.